Hey everybody, thanks for joining me again. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating our new layered leaves stamp set and matching die. I'll show you how to stamp and assemble this pretty branch. So our layered leaf set creates this pretty detailed branch that has some extra little leaves that can be layered over the top for even more dimension. So one of the unique things about this set is that the matching die does not have the border um, around the edges of the image like most of our dies that match our stamp sets. I really wanted to keep it really intricate and open looking and so I opted to design this without that extra border. So I want to show you how this image gets stamped and how to layer those extra little leaves over the top which is an optional step. So I have already die cut the main branch from white cardstock and I have all of the images already set up in my MISTI so I have my negative die cuts layered inside of my MISTI and they are on my sticky mat that I always keep in my MISTI. This um, is a mat that's actually designed for use with a Cricut machine. I get lots of questions about that. It um, lets me keep things in place while I stamp. So it's holding my negatives in place and then I can drop my die cut inside as well and it just holds everything in place. So I'm gonna be stamping this in some kind of soft shades today. I have a dark brown ink. This is a VersaFine Claire. It's uh, the color is Pinecone. That I'm gonna use that to stamp the branch uh, itself, the, the twig portion of the branch. It's a really pretty deep brown. So I would highly recommend using a stamp positioning tool when using this set, such as the Misty, like I'm using here. Since there's no border around the images of the die cuts, you really do need to make sure you're getting things lined up properly. So um, a stamping tool such as the Misty is really going to be your best bet, kind of a lifesaver. So we're going to start now by stamping the leaves. There are two steps for the solid portion of the leaves. It allows you to create a two-tone branch, and I'm going to be using tattered rows for this first step. And you'll see I'm using a sponge dauber to apply the ink. Sometimes I like to get a little bit of a head start by tapping my ink pad onto the image and then just kind of softening it with my ink dab, with my sponge dauber. This allows me to really gradually build up color and also get kind of some neat shading and ombre effects. I can leave it as is or I can stamp it again to get some more depth of color in certain areas. And that's looking kind of pretty, so I'm going to leave it as is. Move on, I have the next step of the solid leaves set up right over here. I'm going to be stamping those with bundled sage. And just to add some kind of neat variation in color, I might go back to my tattered rose and sponge just a little bit of that on this second step leaves as well, just kind of on the, the tips of the leaves. Get some neat ink kind of color blending going on. Okay, so both steps of the solid leaves are stamped. Now we can move on to the vein detailing. I have my veins set up in a second misty. I didn't quite have room for everything on the one misty, and so I have pulled out a second one. I like to leave everything set up so that I can stamp multiples. So in order to have enough space for all of the steps, I pulled out my second one. So I'm doing the vein details on the green leaves in ice iced spruce. All right, so we'll move on to this last step here, which is the vein detailing on the pink leaves. And for that, I'm going to be using Victorian velvet. So there the branch is finished, we're done stamping it, but now we can go ahead and we can do those individual leaves that I mentioned at the beginning of the video to add some extra dimension. So the die cuts all of these little individual leaves 
and I'm going to nest those back inside of the negative here in my misty. So these individual leaves match up with the leaves that we stamped in pink here. So they will get layered over the top of that. Um, you can choose to do them in the same color or you can add additional color. It's up to you, however you'd like to do that. There are solid stamps as well as the vein details for each of these individual leaves found in the stamp set. So you have a couple choices here. You can either stamp those solid images or what I found that I like to do is I actually just like to sponge those with ink to get some variegated look and you can do that with stamping as well but if you're using the matching die cut it's almost just easier to sponge those with some ink if you're going to stamp this directly onto a project then you could use these individual leaves to make it look like the branches kind of has some leaves falling down or that type of thing so there's some options for using those solid um, leaf images if you're not using the die cuts And add just a little bit of soft green to those as well. And then we'll go ahead and stamp the vein detailing. I have those set up here as well in my Misty, and I'm going to do that with Victorian Velvet. So I'm going to pull those out of there and we will attach them to our branch. So now it's just a matter of matching up these leaf shapes to the, the stamped version. And if you need a little help, your set will come with a guide. So this guide will be found in your package with your stamp set. And it shows each of those leaves labeled and where they go on the main stem. But they're pretty easy to, to match up because of they're all a little bit different shape. So it's not so tough. So to add these to our branch, I'm going to just add some liquid glue to the very tip of each leaf and I'm going to kind of bend those out and also just offset them a little bit. I'm not going to exactly line them up. I'm going to kind of offset them so that the leaves underneath also show. So as you can see I did these in the same color that I stamped that step onto the branch but you could definitely mix it up and do these in a different color which would add even more dimension to your branch. Okay, so there it's all assembled and ready to go. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this how-to for our new layered leaves set. This stamp set and matching die will be available from thegreetery.com beginning on Friday, September 10 at 10 a.m. Eastern.